free for all. Game one of the Stanley Cup Finals goes tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The proverbial line in the sand is drawn at center ice, and we are underway. McKinnon's got the puck. Great reach with the poke check by Pellick. He grabs the puck here at the point. Huge hit on the play. And there's another stop. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Goes right to the crease. Scores! The captain comes through! Some guys just jolt energy into their team when they score. He's one of them. One of their offensive leaders, one of their emotional leaders. He's on the board and the bench is pumped. Guys, we know that he's a part of the leadership group on this squad, and with his born leader superstar ability, he's given his team a huge boost after scoring that goal. And he slides it quickly to Pellet. Cutting to the front of the net. Neil's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. New York's on the attack. And now it's over to Marcel. Oh, I'm loving this, James. This shift is endless. Quick pass to Neal. Takes that pass back at the point. Love save made by Grubauer. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Neal's most impressive goals come when he dekes his way to the front and fires a quick shot past the goalie before they can even react, guys. That sequence is his shock and awe zone ability, and it's what makes him such a special player to watch. The Kraken have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Moves it to Neal. Broken up by Schwartz. Nice zone entry from the right side. And that's broken up. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Slides it up to Neal. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. He's got a step, and it falls apart. Yeah, I'm not sure that breakaway was the way he planned it. I mean, you get into the clearing, you're excited. You got an idea of what to do, but that wasn't it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Islanders lead it 1-0. Seattle's won the face-off deep in their own end. Forsling's moving the puck through his own zone. Gord's picking up steam. Sends the pass over with the stop. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Puck grabbed by D'Angelo. All alone! Scores! What a finish! Yeah, once he gets into the clear, it's like he's so decisive on what he wants, and he puts it away for the goal. Look at the bench when he scores, James. I mean, this guy is just a born leader. Like, he scores, the energy just runs through his team. That is something that is a great skill to have. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Takes the shot. Comes up with the stop. Let's get the call. Neal's going off to the box for two minutes. Seattle's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. You can really only drop the power play so many times. The key is don't lose your confidence in it when it doesn't succeed. Just get right back to the basics of getting the puck to the net and people there at the same time. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. He's shaking his head on that as they were so close. Hey, 
Here's a short pass to Bemstrom. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Neal. Breakaway! Oh, what a save by the goaltender! Terrific play to get in all alone. The move and the shot look good to me, but the goalie is right on it. What a stop. The Islanders grab possession to the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Neal's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. I had a playoff run like this. When you score in the playoffs, you feel like you can score every night. McKinnon's ankle breaker zone ability is when he deeks at top speeds to create grade A chances. Barzell is an important piece of this club. They'll be looking for him to produce. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Quick feed to Korianov. Shot and makes the save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Past the midway mark in this period, 2-0 is the score. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. And they can't connect. New York's going to play it from the corner. Neal's going to play it from the back of the cage. Keeps hold of the puck. Taken by McKinnon. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Gorianov's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. That's almost a little embarrassment as you go to the box for the second time in the period. Not going to be a good video meeting. Here in the late going of the frame, the Islanders are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes a shot and that goes off a player in front. Here's a shot and the puck dies with the trapper save. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Puts it on net and makes the save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. McKinnon's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Angles it over to Marcel. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. And serves up a little knock on the play. New York's got the puck along the wall. What a steal in his own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Great defensive effort with the stick. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. New York's across the blue line. Here's a blast. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. New York's won the draw. They take possession here in the open ice. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Barcel's really good at creating space for himself, even when he's turning on a dime. Guys, his elite edge's zone ability allows him to carry that speed into those turns and open up some lanes for him to maneuver in. Let's see what he does here. New York's got it along the wall. An easy save by Grubauer. 
McKinnon swooping in on the attack. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Quick feed to Neal. And there's the save. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. And now he tries to get it across to D'Angelo. Gurianov's taking it from his own end. McKinnon's gaining momentum. Smart defensive play there. Evans picks up the puck. Lays into the body on the play. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Sends one up to Rust. And he sends it across to Deneau. And now he moves it to Barzell. Cutting to the slot. Scores! Yes! Yes! Yes, they're on their feet here tonight! The goal was great, but it was his stick handling that got him there, guys. That's his puck on a string superstar ability. And he dipsy doodled his way to the net and put away that puck. What a show! Grabbed along the board by Lynn. Moves the puck along the half wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. Picked up along the boards by Neal. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Seattle's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Grubauer's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. New York's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Seattle's trailing by one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. They fight for it along the boards. Maintains possession. Big hit, absolutely lowering the boom. He closed so fast, there was nowhere for him to go. Hammerson with a big hit. Wow, he got right into him. Solid hit. The Kraken have the puck in their own end. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Penalty coming up. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Seattle's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The power play gets an unbelievable opportunity to tie this game up. Trailing by one. This is a big chance in this game. The Islanders play the puck from the back of the net. And now it's grabbed by Blackwell. Tees it up from the blue line. Denies the shooter on that play. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Drives to the sweet spot. The 360 with the puck. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Ward's got it along the wing. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. They've got numbers here. Puck picked up by Neal. That's off a stick. That's kicked away with the pad by Grubauer. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Hosang. 
Strong defensive effort. Grabs control of it at the point. Couldn't complete the play. Evans plays it along the wall. Seattle's got the puck in the corner. Fails to find the open man. Here's a race for the loose puck. New York's got it now. Neal's got the puck. The Islanders have it from the corner. New York's got the puck against the wall. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. There's a great close save by Grubauer. Well past the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Great pressure on the offensive end by Rust. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. While he's over at the penalty box again, maybe they can hand him a rule book. He's been over there all night. Clearing attempt. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Now the pressure ramped up on the penalty kill there as they go into that last power play time. They do a really nice job. They keep the game knotted as the power play wasn't able to cash in. Quick pass to Wallstrom. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Treacher's got the puck in his own zone. Scooped up along the wall by Neal. The Islanders played along the boards. New York's got it behind the net. The Islanders will play it from the corner. Backhander in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Puts it on goal. Denied by the goaltender. Treacher's moving it ahead. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. And that pass goes off a stick. There's another for the hit parade. Moves it to Neal. Hammers a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Grubauer. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Drives it to the oh. crease. He scores! That's three of the night. What an unbelievable night. It's at home. It's exciting. Everybody is into it. That's an outstanding game for him. The goal is one thing. He gives them a boost because it's him. They just rally around this guy's energy and effort every game on the board it's like it's a goal and a half for his team we're still in the early stages of this period new york's got a one goal lead and that's offside stopping the play new york's won the draw Grubauer's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. McKinnon's won a big draw on their own end. Tries to get the puck over to Evans. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. He's got a step, and that's a busted play. Great effort to come all the way back. Beaten at one end, turns it aside at the other. Tremendous hustle. Cut 
right to the slot. Great save by Grubauer. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Centers glide into the dot as the faceoff ready to resume play. Takes the feed. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Takes the pass. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Neal's in that mode now. You got three. Look for more. Tremendous close save by Grubauer. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Here's the blue line. It looks to set up at the point. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Oh, they do it again. No, sir. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Shilkin's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. He scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Guys, he used his superstar ability to create that scoring chance and skates away with the goal. What a great play by him. Forsling's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Comes up with a stop. The goalie gets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. Rips it. And that's blocked. Moves the puck up to Jose. Here's a short pass to Gord. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Through center along the wing. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Scrum along the boards. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Barzell. Big time stop there. Oh, what another save! I love the way that he's in position and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Lots of time left in this period. New York's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Feeds it on over to Rust. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. by Forsling. Seattle's got it in their own zone. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Hurdle. The Islanders gain control. Of the he scores! That's three, Ray! Yeah, just to have it taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. The Islanders could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. They've dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. Seattle's won the draw in the neutral zone. Quick feed to McKinnon. New York's gained possession. Feeds the puck up to Neal. And that pass is intercepted. Sends a pass over. Takes the feed. All alone! Nice hands, great finish, little short break and it's in the net. Well, how about him using his superstar ability to get that goal, guys? He's been so fun to watch in this matchup. McKinnon's won it. Textbook poke check by Neal. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. To his teammate! And that one's turned away. Feeds the puck to McKinnon. Across the line from center. 
New York's got possession of the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Neal. Grubauer's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Glove to the face like a modern-day version of challenging to a duel. Yeah, if you get that done, you, you've got to fight back. You can't have that happen. The Islanders win the faceoff. Nice pass. On the wraparound. Oh. Just a simple save by Grubauer. Seattle's got it against the boards. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Part of the problem is he keeps taking penalties. The other part is everybody else has to sit on the bench while they kill his penalties off. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. He scores! Now, this is a different level here. You get into your first playoff, and you're able to get on the board. These are shots I think the goalie should stop, James. It's on the low part of the glove side. He just doesn't catch it. New York's only continue to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Seattle's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And now he angles it across to Shilkin. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Gains the zone from the right side. Picked up along the wall by Barzell. He scores! Two goals on the night for him. He's really been effective forechecking a couple of breaks, and now he's got two. I think this goalie's going to look up at the clock and see just exactly how much time is melted away. It's going from bad to worse for these guys. The Islanders seem to be playing right to the final whistle here tonight, Ray. Yeah, everybody's having fun. Everybody's getting points, and they are steamrolling their opponent. New York's ready to go on the attack. Scoops up the puck here. Slides it diagonally to Marcel. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Look out. They're going to go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Of course, everybody jumps up when the fight happens. But your guy wins, and the building just keeps moving along. And the crowd's still on their feet here, Ray. Feeds it over to Rust. Pass across to Barzell. Here's a chance! And that's turned aside by Bernier. Takes a shot, and that one's blocked! The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. Right in the slot! And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Defenders get a break here. That stoppage in play came just in the nick of time. They're gassed out there. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Big time stop. And that's the hat trick. Listen to this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up. They used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. <laughs> nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight, and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. The Islanders win the faceoff. Passes right to the front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Handles the puck. Let's it go! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. 
And it's a quick pass to Rust. Moves the puck. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Neal. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Puck scooped up by Chalowski. New York's looking to break out. Skates to the crease. Scores! This is getting insane. It is crazy how often the puck tonight seems to end up on his stick. And then when it's on his stick, it ends up in the net next. What a game. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. He used his superstar ability to get that goal, and he's so fun to watch when he's on his game like that, guys. That's all she wrote from this one. one nothing. It's not do or die, but how important is that win? Well, you feel better about yourself. You feel like you've got the leg up, which you do. And now you put so much pressure on your opponents for game two. And the Yes movement is alive after another Islanders win. You win at home here, and the Yes chant goes up. It sounds awesome. Another reason why we love playoff hockey. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebulski. Good night.